I'm out here showing off my hot whip, the 92 Tercel. This is Cribs, right? Hi, I'm Jeremy. This is my interview video for the Napoleon Parodies uh, makeup show. And welcome to my life. A little about myself. I'm 5'7", 156 pounds. Um, kind of the rent of the litter. Um, 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 I, um. I'm actually the founder of the OM Association. <laughs> I'm an artist. I'm a makeup artist. I'm an esthetician. I'm a boyfriend. I'm a son. I'm a brother. Well, I live here in Warwick, New York, which is considered upstate, even though I share a border with New Jersey. I live in the sticks. There's not a lot going on here. I'm bored. So bored. I need excitement in my life. This is the same trees I have been seeing for the last 20 years. I was blind the first four years I was alive. <laughs> no, I'm sorry for all you blind enthusiasts. I was. Oh, I'm going to hell. My personality, I am a little spontaneous. I like to entertain people. I, I do party tricks. I can be funny, I'm a little subtle in my humor. Uh, but I don't know, I'm a little socially awkward, but I think I'm a good person to be around. My, I trip over my tongue quite often. But overall, Freaking awesome. I mean, that's what my mom tells me. I really, yeah, I, I don't know, I juggle and, and weird random talents like that. Walking the dog. Oh, this one's called Sleepy Dog. Well, I guess it's the baby, baby cradle. I developed a strong interest in makeup in college, uh, when I where I, where I was studying art. Um, a lot of my art, analyzing my art, I realized that a lot of my inspiration comes from movies. I do I do a lot of gore makeup. Uh, I guess we consider it special effects. I do zombie makeup mostly. Uh, New York City has a a zombie crawls, it's kind of like a bar crawl, only zombies, about like 50, 70 of us 20 year olds to maybe like late 30s uh, dress up as zombies and I've helped out with creating those zombies where we crawl the streets of New York City going from one place to another. For my special effects I, I stick with uh, Ben Nye, he seems to be uh, the head runner for all the stage makeup and latex and other uh, costume. The main components of making a zombie are a lot of white, white cream makeup, a lot of green, and latex and gel congealed blood. Uh, not real blood, obviously, because who wants hepatitis? My interests include skateboarding,
snowboarding. Mountain biking. And disc golf. And, of course, art. In addition to my physical activities, I also like to kick back and relax with a book. So my favorite books include The Zombie Survival Guide, A Necessity to All Worldwide Zombie Attacks, The Weird Series, Historical Oddities of America, and Men's Magazine. Uh, my gender as a makeup artist is not a factor. Um, actually, I think girls might like the idea. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I'm not a girl, so I don't know if girls like the idea. But I, I, I can imagine it'd be a change of pace. As an esthetician, on the other hand, my gender does come into play. It's, it's a great feeling going out there being like, Hi, I'm your esthetician, please come in for your facial, and they're like, uh, no, I need, a, I need a girl to do this, and it's just like, but my service is probably better than anyone else in this school, I don't see why, but whatever, whatever makes you comfortable, bitch. I like giving the girls the confidence to walk out and feel a little bit better about themselves. Anyone can be beautiful. Um, you know, there are really hot girls, and they, you know, get hotter. <laughs> even more hotter with makeup, but even, you know, the ugly ones. <laughs> like, sorry, there's some butt girls out there, but, you know, they put a little bit of, like, makeup on a little foundation, just a little something, and there's a spring in their step, and they become a beautiful person from it. My makeup philosophy, as, I don't know, it's all about the final product. If the person is happy with the results, if they have that extra confidence that they need. I like painting on people. <laughs> I, I like the interaction of applying product to a person's face. And I like that their comfort they're comfortable with me doing it and that they enjoy the end product that, that they're all, I don't know, I like being thanked for, you know, just putting someone's eyeliner on for them. It, it, it's, I don't know. And, you know, it goes back to them being confident. It would be an awesome learning experience. It would be an awesome learning experience. I don't, unless like, you know, I sign up for, you know, the makeup designery in New York City, but, you know, that's another, like, thousands of dollars that I don't have. Um, so, it would be great. Why would I be good for the show? Because I am very friendly. I, I, I'm humorous, and I'm honest. I think that's one of my better traits, is that I don't beat around the bush. I am very straightforward. Um, I'm diplomatic in, in, my, in my straightforwardness, yes. but uh, I, I, I call it as it is. This is, I'm Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> this is my interview for the uh, Napoleon Paradis TV show. I am a makeup artist and I'm a hick. Look at my, this is where I grew up. Woods, all trees, like Warwick, New York, east nowhere, west nowhere, south, uh, west of New York City. Like, it, it's amazing that I even know what makeup is. <laughs> like, I don't know what else to say. <laughs>